Hi, welcome to The Game Plan. I'm Rico. I'm Lindsay. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Chai. This is a Kickstarter fulfillment that came to our doors just a couple days ago. Pretty excited about it. Yeah, looks very pretty. The mm -hmm. theme is obviously very attractive, mm -hmm. unique. I don't know many games about tea. Yeah, me either. Um, the gameplay itself seems to be quite light, um, and I, I mean the theme kind of would, I think, indicate that as well. But we might be surprised. It might end up being a little bit more crunchy than, than it looks to be. But, uh, you know, based off of what I picked up from the Kickstarter, it looks like it's going to be a pretty light game. Um, as with all the Kickstarters that I back, I don't really follow them that close because I enjoy the surprise of the unboxing, that second Christmas, as Lindsay calls it. Um, so th whatever we're about to see is kind of as new to us as it is to you. So uh, let's see what we've got here. There's one thing I wanted to know. What's that? When, when I uh, unboxed this from the actual shipping box, um, let's see if we can hear it here. There's a... Oh yeah, something's... fair amount of stuff. <laughs> got something's loose. clinking around in there. Yeah, so... Oh. Yeah, I'm, okay. not, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully that's just like things that escaped a baggie or something. Yeah. I hope not. nothing's broken, but that's... Uh, we might end up having a uh, to do this as a redo after... We get some parts replaced. Oh, please no. <laughs> I don't want that to be Let's hope for the best. So this is kind of cool. I didn't know Rico was backing this on Kickstarter, and I had been following it on Instagram because I love games and I love chai. So I haven't seen pictures in a while, but I was really happy that Rico had backed this. I don't know if he knew at the time that chai is one of my very favorite things, but... It sounded like one of the things that you would like. Yes. If I remember, you get like coffee chai stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it's just. Oh, okay. Banging against a little yeah, plastic. These, here. Okay. Cool. Cool. The metal coins came out of their baggies. Oh wow. Those are light metal coins, so that's kind of odd. Well, everything looks to be in. Wow, this insert these is are very nice. nice. It. Oh wow. These are, the quality here is, is, I mean, nice, thick boards, really high quality, very pretty artwork. Look at the decorations on the cups. Yeah, and these are like a, kind of a plastic. But like a thick plastic? Yeah. Almost rubber, like rubber made almost? Yeah. And they look terracotta, which is way cool. Yeah, this is amazing. This is really nice. All right, this is it. This is worth it just for the components. Oh my goodness. These are doing weird things to my senses because they're really light. Oh, they're yeah. metal. They look like so they're nice and huge, chunky. And they, I mean, they're big, but they they weigh nothing. Very light. They must be hollow. But they have little cups that, this is, wow. We, we have, we've gotten ourselves a lot of really high quality Kickstarters fulfilled in the recent past. And it feels like every single one we get is just the best one. Yeah, it well, does. Like we just did Eclipse. And it, I mean, granted, Eclipse is 10 times the size, but like the quality of the individual components here, wow. Yeah. Like they're up there with Eclipse. Yeah, they are. This is really cool. I'm pretty excited about this. I, yeah, I didn't expect this nice. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the cards, I'm sure, are going to be quite lovely as well. Get that open. Okay, all of the coins are out now, and that was all that was banging around. Was it looks like the coins just escaped from their little plastic bag, so no harm, no, no harm. And these bags are really nice too. Wow, they look like they're canvas or some sort of texture to yeah. them, other than just cloth. Yeah. So these are little circle dudes. Oh, I guess they got an upgrade. Oh. Very it cool. looks like maybe in the regular edition they're going to be just little circle different dudes. colored yeah. circles, but now they're like actual tea leaves, which is really cool. And then these are square tiles, and they're really nice as well. Ooh, they're almost like an Azul style. Yeah. Not sided. quite as heavy, not not quite as chunky or heavy, I would say. They, they're like the coins are deceivingly light, but they're very, very pretty, thick, yeah. cool little pieces. 
These are, man. Well, well done. I Steep love games, well done. The artwork. Show them off, please. It's the same thing that the coins did to my senses because I just expect them to be heavier, but they're light and really well done. This one's a little damaged, but that's the only damage I see in this whole game. This one's got just a little crack in it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's not going to affect the gameplay at all, and I only noticed it because I was closely inspected. Yeah, I, can't even, I can't even feel it. You can see it. I mean, it's definitely visible, but I can't. I can't even feel it. Like dis. I think it's just discoloration. No, there's a crack. You can see. Oh, I can feel it with my fingernail. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. It's not um, gonna affect anything. Wouldn't even notice. No. And then here are the cards. Um, they're very large cards. They seem to be. Are they all individually illustrated? Oh my goodness! And the illustrations are just really cute. Okay, this is definitely one of the, uh, n this fits into the category that I call cannot offend. <laughs> that is, nobody can, nobody can play this and just be offended. What is this lady with her cat? That's offensive, <laughs> right? Like, this is just, everybody can just enjoy whatever this has to offer. As long as the game is fun, there's nothing to hate here. So this is really cool. These are the wooden pieces. Looks like different kinds of tea leaves, maybe different stages of tea, black tea. Green tea, red tea, not sure what the blue is, but we'll find out. I like that little brown. Thing. Yeah, I do too. It's cool looking. Hmm. I like the green one too with the out, uh, yeah, it's the cutout. Really fine cutout there. Yeah. That's cool. Aces. Good job, guys. Yeah, and this insert looks, and it fit, and I noticed it fit really well too. Um, so like these these boards here when they were stacked up oh boy I hope I can remember how they stacked so I'm like that yeah so this they when they stacked up they're not even but the way that the insert here holds them in place accounts for that like yeah this is a solid insert unfortunately I believe I think it's one of those inserts that as things tip it's not gonna be much use but man it looks nice it holds stuff nice as long as it seems like it would stay flat. It would be awesome. Yeah, I mean we're gonna use it. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. this is this is really cool. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. I don't expect this uh, organization will take long. It looks like it's pretty straightforward. There's only two punch-out boards and maybe some More upgraded tiles. components or maybe Kickstarter exclusive or modular expansion. We'll have to find out. And we're about to do that. All right, stick with us. All right, here we go. Speed up. So this is based off of the information given in the rule book. This is my best attempt or our best attempt at, at organizing. Unfortunately, um, the rule book leaves a little to be little to be desired. Only criticism so far. So far, yeah. I there is no component overview <laughs> in the rule book, unfortunately. So there was a little bit of kind of like, oh, maybe this, this is that. Yeah, mm -hmm. this rule plays out like that. Yeah. So I think these parts must go with this. Yeah. So. Um, this might change over time, but I, I mean, it's it's a fairly light game, and there's only, what, three, four pages in the rule book, yeah. so it's it, it, there's really not a whole lot going on, it seems like. So. I think it'll be fine. We were just a little confused about storage for some things. Yeah, so they didn't really outline what this entire tray was for, right? There's just space available for storage, I guess, and so we just decided to put the <coughs> items that didn't have any specific mention about them in here. Um, so, or like as far as mentioning of where they go. So, so as an example, there's lots of tiles, but they do say, you know, put the tiles in the bag and draw them, blah, blah, blah. And the bag is clearly labeled for square tiles. 
So, so th those types of things are obvious, but these, all of these components, you know, they, they mention how they're play, how they're used, but they don't say anything about what to, how to store them. Um, so, yeah, we just put them in here. Oops, sorry about the shake there. Um, put them in here. Nice game tray solution. The, the the lid can come off pretty easily, so it's not like I would just flippantly throw this yeah. around, but it, it should stay on fairly well. Um, and maybe after our first play, we'll know better how to yeah maybe store those. But they knows? are player like most of these are player tokens, so these will go off to the each player. They're kind of a player color concept, um, and it didn't look like there was a good. Bag, like bag this for the blue player, bag this right. for the green player. So it, it seems like this is still going to be the fastest and easiest way to set up um, the tiles again for the the different tea stuffs, I guess, components, ingredients, and then there's these wild ones that are uh, modular expansion. Um, they all go in here and they seem to fit fairly snug. Um, there's two areas here in the tray that Again, they don't really specify what to put in there. The metal coins upgrades um, seem to fit nicely there, so we put that there, and then the the, uh, the bags kind of hold that in place nicely. Um, this is obviously the natural fit, and it seems like it's designed that way because it has little grooves in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's little grooves that where the lip of the cup is supposed to. Sorry, I keep bumping that. Um, it's supposed to kind of rest. So I'm sure they'll flop around in there, but that's where those are supposed to go. Um, I, from the best I can tell, this, I mean, it looks like it's supposed to go there. It does. Um, I'm wondering if maybe But we're this not exactly is, sure uh, what level it goes on. Yeah, because unfortunately if it goes there, so let's just say if it doesn't go there, this kind of locks into place really nicely. But then where does this go? And it doesn't, it's not going to fit on top very well. I mean, I guess you could throw it onto the side or something. But this just looks like a cutout for it. Yeah, so. it, it, but the only place that it would fit is if it was there. But then it's not quite right, and then of course that's not right. Yeah. So, kind of a little confused on that one. I think they're going for... I think for that's the best. Something like that. Yes. It's close. Because then this sits right in there. Yeah, but it's still a little bit... It is a little wonky. But for what it is, that's, that's what we kind of figured for that. So this is a um, it just holds each of the different types in, um, that are in play, I think. Yeah. Um, and then... This looks like the market. Yep, this is the market, so you're going to draw the tiles from the tile bag and fill up the market for gameplay. And I'm um, assuming it's one of those mechanisms where they get cheaper? I, so I don't know. I did, I did not actually read that closely, but I, I'm guessing because everything's going to kind of slide mm -hmm. towards the cheaper prices, but... Um, I don't know exactly the rules on how this gets filled, if it's just draw and fill, or if it's like prioritize, I don't know. Didn't didn't get those details from yeah, the rules yet. Yeah, we'll have yet. to give it a play. And then the player boards, so this is actually the individual player boards that correspond to the player colors. Um, so this is what in, is in front of it. So this is really the only thing, this and the player color is what you would give to the players. So it's not, there's really not an easy set, quick setup for that, it's pretty fast. This is a board that literally just holds a pile of coins. So we're... All the money goes on there. Um, overproduction? <laughs> Maybe, a little Possibly. bit. Possibly. This is, this is a, probably an overproduced game. Uh, it's very lovely, but uh, my goodness. And then the card situation. So we, we um, noted from, there, there, again, there was no component overview. So what we kind of gathered was that each player was going to get kind of a deck. And so we have the little uh, turn order helper card. And then the player color here on the bottom um, kind of represents their duck. So this is one for the, the red, pink, whatever color, that peach color, whatever that is. And then the next deck, we just stack right on top. So this, again, is also what you would give to the player. So we could have individually bagged these little decks and those pieces with that board, but we thought it was simple enough to just flip through this and grab out their little decks one at a time. And they wouldn't fit very well in the insert. If yeah, all bags, if you put so. baggies in that insert with... I don't want to get rid of that insert. It would get crazy, yeah. yeah. Um, and then these are ability, I think they're called ability cards, and um, they're, they, they're not for each player. They're, they're in play, you know, you shuffle and, and deal some out and put them into play throughout the game, and then there's little, uh, the deluxe rules for the Kickstarter stuff, just kind of an overview that we decided to keep with those as well. So while this deck isn't really sorted, it's 
it's so simple to just you know grab the piece out and throw it out to the players. I didn't think we didn't think it, it didn't was. It didn't need to be bagged. This yeah. this is perfectly fine. So, uh, but all of the cards did come in a little box, and we did decide to keep the box because there are um, a fair amount of Kickstarter upgrades that we decided to just store the original pieces in there, and then there are some like make your own objective cards and make your own um, player um, cust cust fulfillment cards, I guess yeah. maybe you call it. It's like these are the customers asking for these items and if you fulfill it you get stuff, that kind of a game. And each of the other ones, you know, have little, let's just grab one out here. They have little artwork, right, and, and what the customer's asking for, whereas here's a create your own version. So we just, eh, if we ever want to create our own, I guess we'll, we will. I don't know that we ever will. So we're just keeping that off to the side, never to be opened again. Yeah, basically. Um, but it, there's a place to store it, and yeah. it doesn't... Doesn't take away from anything. Yeah, it just so sits my, in there. there it is, boom. So that's it, guys. Seems like it's a pretty, pretty simple store. I mean, game trays are always awesome, and this is no exception. Um, the bags are a plus as well. Yeah, nice canvasy bag. Actually, I'll put those in last. Nice canvas style bags rather than just cloth. They're they're really durable feeling. All right, so we're gonna do that there. Those. That guy. And then flip a coin. I guess we'll try. We'll do that. This. Oops. Sorry again for the shake. That. Um, and just a real quick, the rule book, I'm sure this is a very light game because this this is it, right? It's just a trifold, and um, the actual gameplay elements are, don't even begin until halfway through the second page here. So it's really just a, maybe two pages worth of rules, and this is so rule stuff. So it's, it's a very light game, very simple game to play. Uh, so I expect this is one that is overproduced for what it is, but it will be no challenge to get people to play because yeah, of that. It looks so nice. Uh, it's very pretty. I'm I'm excited to play it. Me too. I hope it's good. I yeah. really do. So there it is. Alright, so that's Chai. Thanks everybody. Yeah. Let us know what you thought. <laughs>